The timeline is clear. On February 13th, Donald Trump asked Michael Flynn for his resignation. The very next day, Donald sent others out of the room while he asked James Comey to drop his investigation of Flynn. Comey took no action. On March 20th, Comey testified that the FBI was investigating whether or not the Trump campaign and associates had colluded with the Russians to influence the election. Shortly thereafter, Donald asked his director of national intelligence and his director of the National Security Agency to publicly deny any evidence of collusion with Russia. They too refused. On May 9th, Donald fired James Comey. Trump later admitted on NBC News to Lester Holt that this Russia thing was on his mind when he fired Comey and told to Russian officials that the firing removed great pressure because of Russia. Donald has clearly engaged in an ongoing effort to obstruct justice. The obstruction of justice statute requires a showing that someone corruptly obstructs, influences, or impedes any official proceeding. There is a reason obstruction of justice because was the first article of impeachment against president Richard crook. Nixon. Well, I'm not a crook. The notion that the president is above the law goes against the very principle on which our nation was founded. Yet above the law is precisely how Donald acts. Trump seems to live by Nixon's infamous words, when the president does it, that means that it's not illegal. That's not how it works. As much as Donald wishes he were, the president is not a dictator. He is a head of a co-equal branch of government that must operate within the structure of the rules and laws of our nation. And yes, Donald, those rules and laws apply to you too.